Hi friends, this is Capone Piso of October 31st of 2015. Happy Halloween. I want to present some facts, of course, as I usually do, with the evidence to back them up and some incidents of a Christ psychosis infected America. And you will love this. But I'm very prophetic because I'm going to bring you Calpun Piso of November 2011 with a white t-shirt or white shirt that will explain certain things that apply today. In other words, it's a prophet. Remember, we die at night when we lose consciousness and then we resurrect in the morning. We are a new person. Happened to us since we are born. Die at night, resurrect in the morning with you when we get consciousness and all that. So, here it is. Enjoy it. See what Christ psychosis in America does to ignorant people, demented psychopath? Look at this, Hobby Lobby. Only ignorant people, demented, Christ psychotics can make tons of money in this country. Ignorant imbeciles like the Greens. There are many others. I know Sir Bush, the Bushes, many, many other psychopaths. Christian imbeciles and they want <laughs> they want to go everywhere and impose a Christian crap on everybody missionaries pieces of garbage that's the reason we are hated all over the world they should put him in prison for buying ancient artifacts all looted his Christ psychosis dysfunction Bible believing psychosis make him do that the treatment and currently uh, in the Cochrane collaboration review that I've published we have found insufficient evidence to support the use of the treatment because the scientific evidence is simply not there see? to support the claims being made about the treatment. Yeah, so, no there. Uh, when you see these pictures, see? and guys let's put the pictures back up. This doctor, see there's no evidence. People this works. Coming into these chambers, what's with this, what's the smoke or the, 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 the gas, what is, is that nitrogen? This all pseudoscience created by Chrysacos infected America. This cold temperature. Christ, I cause to give you all this, all these crazy beliefs and crazy nonsense, and of course you use ancient alien beliefs, conspiracy theory beliefs, and all the crazy and pseudoscience, which is this. And it's a very and you told me that. I think I did as well. George sent a text messages home to her mom, absolutely flooring Chantel Woolley that this was happening at a public school. Being, being told by their teacher that there's no God. Jordan says she was the only one who argued with the teacher about God being real, and she said the teacher told them it's That is a psychosis, you imbecile. Imaginary friend. Like saying there are books on the desk that, that she wanted to stop. Uh, and another kid went home crying. Woolley complained to the West Memorial Junior High School Monday. But America's a stupid. Complaint to the kid the independent school district school board but when the school board members started asking jordan questions the superintendent alton fraley shut them down what school oh i'm rather really have at this point in time that that's see you have a resolution process that we follow now think into the details but now we'll be out about your own process and that's why Willie says she wants the story told before Katie ISD can pretend it didn't happen. She doesn't want parents blindsided like she was. And she says she's probably the most liberal parent in Katie, Texas. I mean, pink and blue and stars all over and God bless the USA and don't mess with Texas. You know, Texas is messing with my kid. See? Sick brain. Like I always say, Christ psychosis. This is the problem in the United States of America. To these imbeciles, the Christianity infected, the schizophrenic, temporal, epileptic, morons, ignoramus, stuck in the 12th century, 2 plus 2 equals any number these imbeciles say it is, except for the truth, which is 4. They are anti science pieces of garbage. And this is the problem. This is the problem in the United States of America. And the whole country. You can see the GOP, the God Obsessed Party, the imbeciles. The anti-science imbeciles. You can see it in their debates. They're crazy people. They're stupid. In, despite being, being going to school. But they got their psychosis in church when they were young. 
So the brains, despite all the degrees that we'll get, they are psychotic imbeciles that believe in imaginary friends infected with hypo fever. Imaginary friend for irrational belief acceptance. The same, the same psychosis and virulent uh, anomaly, brain anomaly that is at the core of all these schizophrenias, temporal of epilepsy, and all these psychosis, because they all have the same beliefs as the religious psychosis do. There is no rational thought in in religious psychosis. Like First United Pentecostal Church in Thomasville. Officials say during his time as pastor, he abused multiple young children in the late 80s into the 90s. This court document reveals evidence the district attorney plans to present in court. The filing states Andrew sexually abused a child while on a car trip to Texas, and Andrew's daughter witnessed it. The district attorney also alleges Andrew sexually abused a child at his home and in his church office. The document goes on to state the former pastor fondled a young girl at the church. Alone. See? See, they're all pastors. They're all Christianity infected imbeciles, Christ psychotics. They're all pedophiles. They're disgusting imbeciles. And they don't pay taxes and they get away with everything. That's what happens when you have Christianity infected people in power. They corrupt the brain of children. Not only their bodies, they don't molest their bodies only. They molest their brains in churches, in the millions of churches in the United States of America. And all this Pentecostal crap, they're all Christians. All Christian denominations do the same shit. Because they are, they are disgusting people. They, are, they believe in imaginary friends to be reality. They are disgusting. They are Religious and schizophrenia imbeciles. They have a problem with the brain and this, this is the result right here. Alleging Andrews often asked her to give him an insulin shot, then unzip, unbutton, and pull his pants down. Got an infected imbecile we have for president. This is ignoramuses from a rich family, George Bush. Look at this imbecile. He ruined the country. Demented fool. And this is the problem. If it was, if, if, if a religious Christianity was considered a mental illness, a danger, this imbecile would have been in the hospital all along with his whole family. And everybody that is a Christian in the United States of America we don't have idi idiots like that allowed to become president or judges or anything, senators or current. No, these imbeciles belong in institutions, getting their brains fixed. No, look at this. This is the reason the United States uh, is one of the most ignorant countries in the world because the lack of education is all the Christianity infected nation. You have a Christianity, uh, un Christian universities and all these demented idiots. And uh, this is the reason. They all believe in this Bible nonsense and they go to church, they get their, their, their knowledge in church, their education in churches, and they are psychotic. This is the reason they are so demented. And as I said at nauseum, the problem with Christ psychosis is that it's so dangerous that nobody seems to see it. This is called Pun Piso. And as you can see, Ben Carson is a chrysocardic infected imbecile. And he's a neurologist. So, so this psychosis is HIV of the brain, as I said. It's my postulate, it's my hypothesis. Uh, because you can see the effects. And you can see it, it's right there. And this man is, uh, is a neurologist. Where did he get his degree from? He doesn't believe in science because his brain is sick. And look at this, look at this here, right here. Ben Carson caught on video claiming, look at that. And you know how we say religion is organized schizophrenia. <laughs> Lo and behold, look at this here, about this psychotic infected Ben Carson. Look what he says. After saying about that supplement, October 29, The strange story, when he says all that, look at what he says here too, schizophrenia relapses. <laughs> See? And it's amazing because people are, with that, unwillingly, they're connecting schizophrenia to mental illness, to, to a religious psychosis, like I said. But in two separate things, people don't see it. So it's right there. This is what happens when you have Christianity infected imbeciles as senators and congressmen and doctors and all that running the country. That's the problem. And they are dangerous. This, this cancer of the brain spread in churches. 
So atheists, in other words, mentally healthy, atheists, scientists, neurologists, Dr. Krauss, Dr. Harris, uh, uh, Dawkins, and the rest of them, and, and Neil deGrasse Tyson, these brilliant minds, better wake up. Because when you have people, chrysocardic infected imbeciles, as Congress, they make the laws, they're in the legislature. And they probably will say that the Bible has to be taught in churches. They will, they will completely eliminate the Department of Education and the rest of it. And you scientists, atheists, scientists are going to be out of luck. And they, these nuts are going to be controlling you scientists. So mentally healthy atheist scientists, wake up. Connect religion to a mental illness, a very dangerous cancer of the brain. And the brain is the organ we create thinking with. Remember that. This here is the organ you create thinking with, you, scientists. So wake up. Press all the nuts in the mental institutions that belong and close all the churches. Hi, friends. This is Carl Poon Piso. Oh, boy. It is uh, November 2011. Have you noticed all this uh, Christ psychosis infecting America? It is full blown, especially on the GOP. <laughs> These deluded, ignorant imbeciles, they had no idea what side is up. They're running for president, they want to lead the country. They want to be the heirs of Chrysacosis infected Bush, who ruined the country for nine years, believing in resurrecting zombies that say with blood. <laughs> Amazing. Here. Keep in mind, in 2004, the president of the United States was a Chrysacotic infected imbecile, a schizophrenic, a person with a very bad problems in his brain. That was George W. Bush at the control of this country. You know what he did? He screwed up the whole country for eight years. I mean, the guys were psychopath and nobody seems to see it. He was sick. And of course, guess who was? <laughs> That's where Ben Carson came from. 2004, when President Krasikali infected Bush was president. Look at this. We're proud to present Dr. Ben Carson Director of Pediatric Neurosurgery at Johns Hopkins Children's Center, a member of the President's Council on Bioethics, and co-founder of the Carson Scholars Fund, an organization whose stated goal is to provide a scholarship to at least one child in every school in the country. President, <laughs> a member of Bioethics, another chrysocotic infected imbecile, you know, birth of a feather, flock together. So when you have one Christian is schizophrenic, like Bush, as president, he's going to choose people that are equally infected like he is. Like an schizophrenia will, a schizophrenic person will enjoy the company of schizophrenics. Because they are this, they have the same or a conspiracy theory psychotic, you know, will enjoy the other people are as crazy as psychotic, uh, psychotic as they are. Because they all believe in the same conspiracy theories and religious psychosis, uh, imbecilities, and bizarre metamagical beliefs of their produced by their dysfunctional brains. So of course, Bush is going to choose religious psychotic, schizophrenic Christians, Christ psychotic infected imbeciles, psychotic, theotarded, morons, to be in his government. And you see it here. World renowned for his expertise in separating twins conjoined at the head, Dr. Carson has been recognized by CNN and Time Magazine as one of America's top 20 physicians and scientists. And Christ psychosis does not discriminate. And that's a problem. But I'd like to know how this imbecile that doesn't believe in evolution did this operation. I'd like to know the whole history behind it. This psychotic, because when you're a schizophrenic, you might be very intelligent and everything, but you have all these imaginary friends floating around. 
and you are subjected to that. And you can see it obvious that the man is sick. Bernie Carson is very, very sick. And nobody seems to see it. That's we have to that's the reason I make my YouTube videos, because religious beliefs are mental illness. It's a cancer of the brain, it's a virus. It's a dangerous, very dangerous uh, disorder because Hey, the brain is the one that controls our bodies, and especially when you're in a position of power and you're a psychotic person, you're schizophrenic, and you can tell people what to do, like a senator, a president, a legislature, a judge, or anything like that. You are a policeman, you're in trouble. And this is the problem in this country, and nobody seems to see it. And this HIV of the brain spread in churches. I don't know how many times I'm going to say this, but scientists, wake up, man. You better wake up. And smell the coffee, okay, and see that religious beliefs are mental illness because we create thinking with the brain, you know, it's obvious. But that's what it is. This is the recipient of numerous honors and awards, okay. including more than 30 honorary doctorate degrees. Dr. Carson's speech is a powerful message of hope and possibility as he. <sighs> I mean, it's a cycle. And uh, very, very sick man. Look at the look. Bobby Jindal has also the same disease. He's the governor of Louisiana that performed an exorcism. And you have uh, Heinrich with a Nazi Christian. And you have also Billy Graham, another Christ psychotic infected in Brazil, with Dove, Heaven's Gate. All have the same eye, the same psychosis. Look at this, the Christian Tucson Shuro, a 4,000 year old priest from Ur that had ingested entheogens. The most important thing in America is education. And uh, Universities and many, many colleges are infected by Christ psychosis. The acceptance of an imaginary friend, a zombie, a resurrected zombie named Jesus Christ as if he was reality. And these are the universities that people, Christ psychotic people like Governor Perry, that pray for rain, uh, Sarah, uh, 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 Michelle Bachman is a stupid woman, Pelin, and many others, even governor of Louisiana, Jindo, that did an exorcism. These people, it is very dangerous to have people like this in office. They are no different than schizophrenics. And this is the problem in the United States of America. Having this this stupid people, extremely ignorant, having the psychosis of God belief, you know, in positions of, in positions of power uh, in government. They belong in a mental health clinic, like the, the, the people suffer from depression, from uh, dementia, from Alzheimer's, and from other neurological disorders. These people are crazy and very dangerous to have in office. Look at Governor Perry. He attended Liberty University. And uh, you see the results. Crazy is as crazy thinks and does. This is Christ psychosis infected uh, Governor Perry. Look at those eyes, psychotic, just like the uh, 4,000 year old uh, figurines uh, priest from Ur. And here's uh, Michelle Bachman, another Christ psychotic. Look at those eyes. And uh, Perry of the uh, Family Research Council. And you have uh, another idiot, Chopra, another Christ psychotic, the grand Christ psychotic, Benedictus the Pope. Uh, this guy is a psychotic, just like the priest, 4,000-year-old priest of Ur. And look at this, Bashar al-Assad of Syria, another religious psychotic. And as I said, the key is education. And that's what the church used to do 1,500 years ago when Christianity started. They were in control of the education, in control of the governments, in control of states and everything. And they infected the people, and the parents infect their children, and they attend... This, uh, this school, but these monks and all that, and they went on for hundreds and hundreds of years. And that's the reason science went down. And you keep people ignorant, you control them. The Christ psychosis infected imbeciles in the South during the, uh, uh, in the South of America. You know, they have the plantations of that. They keep the blacks ignorant. 
It was against the law to teach them how to read. And that's the reason the majority of blacks in this country are Christ psychosis. And it is, and they, they kept the natives the same way too. The American natives, the Indians, they had their own religion, their own thing, and they kept them ignorant because they were inferior. The Christians invented racism. They considered them inferior. That's a, a, the, the moronic, a stupid, christ cost infected morons in the Tea Party and the GOP uh, keep people ignorant. And that's the reason they, they, uh, they're trying to, with all this psychosis and the stupid media, never, never questions the mental health of these morons. Never. You know, Bachman in Europe, this woman would have been run out of town. The same thing with Perry and Bush. That was a laughing stock of Europe when he was president of the United States. How come United States have such a psychotic, imbecile, dummy like that really in the country? And this is the danger. And of course, education is important. So, and you have the GOP. These people are so stupid. They have no idea what the word liberal and the word conservative means. Conservative comes from the Latin, conservare. Conservare means to stay the same. In other words, a stagnation. Keep the same belief of the Middle Ages as true today. Do not evolve. Be stupid. So you keep people stupid. You don't let children have a, uh, get educated and advanced and believing in, in science and study science and all that. Now, liberal, on the other hand, means free thinker. Liber comes from libertats. And liberales means freedom, stupid assholes. Like the Statue of Liberty means, liberty means freedom. That's exactly what it means. So any of these moronic imbeciles that say, oh, you're a liberal. They are a moron. They're stupid people that should go and, and get educated and get a new brain. And this has happened to the Tea Party and to the GOP. And they don't like Obama because he's black. And he's an intellectual. He's better than the morons that they are. And he's actually trying to fix the country. After the eight years of the piece of shit, Christ psychotic infected Bush, a moron, Rumsfeld, and all the idiots, the new crusaders that were invading countries, and countries the wrong countries. That's the reason they pissed off all the uh, Islam psychotics. There you have no education. And then the, the parents corrupt the children because they, they themselves are Christ psychotic infected with this, this uh, illness. And, then, and the atheists are clueless. The scholar atheists are clueless because they don't see religion as a mental illness and so many, many, many psychologists. They are cowards and they don't say anything. <laughs> they want to keep their job. Keep in mind, uh, we create thoughts with our brain. A sick brain can only produce sick thinking. Religion is a neurological disorder like a schizophrenia. It's one of the schizophrenia. The sick brain can only create sick thinking. Religious creates bizarre metamagic beliefs just identical, the same like schizophrenia, temporal lobe epilepsy, and other neurological disorders. This is a fact. Don't forget, keep the brain healthy. In other words, atheist. And feed it with knowledge. In Pachitiorum.